from north to south, many interesting art events have been taking place and we catch up with them on this week's edition of the program. Great to have you join us. I'm Melinda Akinlami. We talk about the issues and the fun side of the art when we return. You can change yesterday, but if you hustle today, you can change tomorrow. Archie Abia is a self-taught artist from Makat in Ekwaibom State, based in Lagos. His romance with art began 26 years ago with creative bone collage as his entry point. Since then, he has grown in ingenuity, creating his own style called a graven painting. The new technique that I'm bringing it on board, I call it graven art, and all those about Three years now, I have been experimenting, but I have come to, let me say, not fi final conclusion because it's still, I'm still work in progress. I, I call it graven painting. And the advantage of the graven painting, you want to compare with bone collage. With bone collage, I, I, I wasn't able to be able to paste the bone on canvas. It was only on board and it was heavy. Most of my uh, collectors that take them out complain about duty they pay. So all those things I was praying for the Holy Spirit because he's my mentor to be able to show me another way out. And he has shown me this present uh, medium that I'm that I'm experimenting, and, I, and, and I'm pushing it out, and most people like it. Now, he's a practicing full-time studio artist who uses his time and experience not just to improve his craft, but to impart knowledge. <laughs> Whenever schools go on holidays, Archie takes on children and teenagers with an eye for creativity in art classes. Abia speaks on the need that brought about the necessity. It came out of the need for Nigerian society to be able to have a creative children. I have been emphasizing it, we depend too much on oil. The Nigerian society should be able to bring into school, primary school, even, even nursery school uh, uh, system, what I call creative subject. Creativity should be taught in nursery up to what level because when you have the creative mind the technological growth in the society will be there not necessarily when a child is taught a creativity he will become an, an artist no what we have in the country now is we don't have thinkers if you don't think you cannot create wealth and if you are not a creative person you cannot think so on that note, WinArc, I came up with an idea to train children, 
to in inject that creativity in them so that as they grow, they will be able to think well and be able to do a lot of things. The students share their experiences. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to do origami. I've learned how to paint very well. I knew how to paint before, but now I can paint well. And I've learned how to shade well and observe things, still life, I can observe and other things. I wasn't good in drawing faces. When I started drawing, I drew normal drawing of children age when I was small. But when I was six, I, I wanted to upgrade myself and learn how to draw more. So I sometimes go for art classes, apart from this one. So, and now I'm here and I want to learn further more. And most of them, the schools that do come or we attend, they are seeing the difference. That is, uh, catching them young is very, very important. And most of them, because they've already mastered the grip of pencil, pencil grip, pencil grip, and as they are doing it, he found out that they're getting to write, to ask the child to write R, ah, it becomes so easy because there are three lines that we teach. That three line applies in paint, it applies in art, in drawing, it also applies in writing. So it is something that ordinarily you can't see it anywhere. But we, we all our children, they come, and the, the moment they come, they don't need to spend more time knowing the rudiments. The messages he creates go deeper than the brush. And this, Archie says, should be the objective of every artist. A lot of violence in our society now. And I'm telling my, my colleagues, even in the, in, in the music scene, they should create works that talks about unity. And in, in my own capacity, I, I will continue to create works that talks about good morals, because that is what I came to see. We, we should not leave this society the way it is. And our focus should be on children, be able to show them the right way to go, so that when we are no more here, our country would be a better place. Look at China, look at Malaysia, Malaysia look at other countries. It was their leader that said enough is enough. And they set a template for people to, to follow. Art is life and a gift bestowed to man. And the best thing for anyone blessed with this gift to do is to be like Archie and pass the knowledge to others. was born to a Nigerian royal family in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria. His father was a church organist, while his mother was a trader. His career began with Moses Olaya's Federal Rhythm Dandies, a high-life band. He left to form a new band, The Green Spots, in 1967. 